but we'll see how this goes. I am, you know what, I'm just going to point the camera at the little section. There is nothing going on, y'all. We're waiting for dogs to come in. Yeah. Everybody's been a little slow lately. I do, there are, I like the, um, this one is slightly easier to adjust left and right and up and down, but this is as high as it goes. Yeah. It looks more sturdy than the other one, too. I like it's when the puppies, they go under it. Through the legs. It's part of me, like if I if I could do it myself, I would probably literally just put in the corner walls. I'd put a like a holder there, and like a holder, like I'd stick the holders, like well, the shorter tripods, into the walls, and just be like, this is how we're gonna do this. So then yeah. we then nobody could run into it. Right, right. Hi. I know my videos are so bad sometimes where you can come on down. I'm like propping them up on a log or propping them on a fence just to get a training video. Random people walking past. Hi, Louie. Good morning. morning. Good 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 he can be, he is a sweetheart, but he can be a bit intimidating to some of the dogs. Yeah. Is there a way I can, like, see, watch, watch online? Or? You can watch online we're live on the Instagram dog trained page. Okay. And then I posted, I, one of my, one of the recordings yesterday did not video, but I think his did. But I also post it later on um, YouTube. Okay. But okay. yeah, you can watch it live on uh, Instagram. Good choice. Instagram. Okay, yeah. cool. And yeah. I was, I was saying nice. yesterday, I'm like, we're not going to ask for sit. We'll just come and place and leave it and a bunch of other okay. things. But because he was, he's like, I can tell that he's sore with the sit. Yeah. I'm not going to do it. That makes sense now. Now yeah. that like, we're like, well, he's pretty smart, but you know. He is. Um, <laughs> he so, knows what hurts. <laughs> yeah. Well, we appreciate it. This is great. So, oh, I, so I signed up for four. Yes. So then, how do the other Zoom ones work, or how do you sign up? If, if you didn't already see the link, and double check spam, and just email me okay. again, but you should have, um, you should have gotten that. Once you signed up for the four, you should get an email that's like, here's your code, here's the links, go sign up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll have to go. Well, so much of my stuff gets in my I know. I know. You can always just drop me an email at info at dog train and we'll send you the we'll send you the links again. Okay, awesome. Sounds good. So we'll see you in like is a 50 minute class? Yeah, yeah. about okay. the five after. Perfect. I yeah. can go buy dog food. <laughs> Enjoy. Thanks. See you. Nice boy. Go get it. Oh, I love eating like pulling the flower. Yeah. But then you saw like how it came in back in and then kind of jumped on daddy's like, I'm a little worried about being here. Yeah. I'm a little worried about 
about this. Yeah. So we seen treats a little hard. Oh, typical labs, but oh, also a little worried. Hi, Tia. 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 Hi, I don't know, every 10 minutes when I remember. But this is super cute play. I just wanted to show you. Um, oh, right. Thank you. 
Let's see if I take you guys up if maybe that's a better angle of what's going on. Okay, so well, that's a good view of play. Okay. Look for the loose squiggliness. Look at how they're kind of mirroring each other's play. That is a super social gesture. Uh, that is good play. We like that. I'm going to interrupt it in a moment with a positive interrupter. We're going to use. Uh, take a break. Take a break. Hi, I'm Gia. Go play. Yes. Hi, Lance. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. He's like, I heard mine. I heard those magic words. Yes. So, if you guys hear me say, uh, oh, take a break, if you hear me say, puppy, 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 I'm okay. looking to interrupt the behavior. It is a positive interrupter, meaning we teach the dogs, the next thing that happens is good things, treats, usually on the ground, come and find it. Um, so, this is how we're gonna start. We're gonna let the wiggles happen a couple more times, and then I might go into working on recalls, and then some place, and hopefully some stay today. And we're gonna talk about keep going signals, because it is my new favorite thing to teach dogs. And I will uh, post about it on Instagram this week because I am literally using keep going signals. Oh my gosh, that's such a flashy walk. I'm using keep going walking signals for everything that I'm teaching duration to. I'm gonna roll you over too long. I'm gonna see if they'll, oh, hopefully they'll, hopefully they'll do it again. But uh, Angel got some really cute uh, leash walking going there for a second. That was very pretty. Dino's ready to, to train. Dino is rocking it, Dino. ready to train. Oh. Do, you, do you want me to move Penny out with the cheese plate for a second? I don't know, I think I might pop her over to on this side. I think Dino's trying. Dino is trying. Penny! Oh, no. Well, she's choosing to be around him. So, for those of you guys who have never really seen puppy play before, it can be extremely mouthy and physical. So, beyond the extremely mouthy, what I'm looking for is body shapes that are C-shaping, and they're loose, and they're wiggly, and they're taking turns. Positive interrupter, redirect to treats, temporarily. Louie interrupted himself right there. It was very nice. Took Penny. Dia a uh, treat in front of her nose before she recognized what was going on. Touch. Yes, good girl. Gia. Yes, good girl. Oh, he's done. Oh, he's done. Oh, he's done. <laughs> Lance, our lovely livestock guardian for the Great Pyrenees, is wandering around um, looking for some free treats. Um, he is. Honestly, uh, a great dog to have with his rough memories because he can hang out with them. No, thank you. And he plays with them. And yeah. he throws them. You know, really. And we'll get him working in a minute, too. Yes. I think we're going to get him to do something different today because he's ready to do some more things. Yes. Yeah. He's graduating. He's almost eight months old, so he's going to be graduating in the class. He's okay. so sad. Yes. I know you've been working on your distance down, so we're going to see how long I can keep you down here. Whoa, we keep on going up. That's a big challenge. That's a big challenge. That's a super hard challenge. Can you roll you over to Dino while I get my guys started training? Okay, let's try something a little different.
Suggestions on how to build a up a settle. Uh, so I like to capture it. I like to put puppies on a leash and hang out with them randomly out on walks in the house. And then if they're just standing quietly, I'll praise them. If they offer a sit, I'll praise them. Sometimes I just become the most boring thing in the, in the world. So instead of asking them to do things. They're on a leash of me, so they can't run off and run through themselves, and I just get boring. And now everybody gets to take a nice deep breath and 
this is lovely. Go get it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And I, um, you'll see us doing it a lot of times with the dogs behind the gates. We capture quiet. We'll capture a sit. Yeah. We'll capture four feet on the floor. And when I say capture, I mean yes. we tell them, good dog. We really like what you're doing. Keep doing that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I I gave you a little pause. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. teach dogs how to take a breath, take a nice deep yoga breath. And I find that helps a whole lot. Let's see if we can get Gia to do it. Yeah. So we start off by Yeah. Okay. 
to be very mouthy and hard on my hands, so you might watch me cry a little bit. No, I'm kidding. Um, I'm gonna try very clearly when I give Louie treats. I'm gonna try to make sure they're off the flat of my hands so there's a treat under my thumb, and I'm gonna try to move it out of the way, which hopefully should reduce some of the mouthy biting. If he is, uh, I know it's Gia.
watching. These are adolescent dogs. They are between ages of five and eight months. Um, most of our clients by this time got through that horrible, rotten, no good potty training phase. You know, we hear all the time, like when people call us with their two and three month old puppies, they're like, oh, the potty training. 90% of the time it just works itself out if you take them out a lot. If you uh, throw parties for them for going outside. And then there's the feeding stage, right? Usually right around five months, five and a half months. Baby teeth are falling out, those adult teeth are coming in. They're biting everything. Sometimes they even have a couple potty training accidents because they just don't feel good. But then with these five to eight month old, we have um, hormones. Oh I want to trade. I hormones and uh, brain development. I think it changes. Oops, Louis says hi. Hi, Louis. <laughs> Louis is very cute. Louis had his paws up on the uh, up on the fence saying hi to Angel and the Littles. So they will have um, bigger feelings about how they feel about other dogs in the room. So you will see different behaviors going on. So we encourage... <coughs> oh my goodness, Bebop. It's okay. Bebop says, I don't know about dogs being by my crate. I know. Louis was just like, I think I could say hello to you. And I'm like, I don't think that's a good choice. Good job. Yes. All right. We ignore the bug. We leave bug alone. Nobody needs to be by Bug's crate. She's a nice girl, but she doesn't like people in front of her crate. Oh, all right. So, I was saying something about teenage brains. Anyways, hormones, teenage brains. Usually what we hear a lot more from clients at this stage is, oh, my puppy's pulling everywhere right now. Good and job. they jump. They jump because they can reach counters and they have more coordination over their legs and they've learned good things are up high out of their reach. And so a lot of what you see us doing will be um, rewarding feet on the floor. Oh, Gia, that's very sweet. Oh, that's very sweet kisses with Ms. Wayne. That's very sweet. Oh. Look at the floor flesh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. So much pretty sweet. You know what? I might actually. Oh. <laughs> Louis says, I would like to be anywhere I'm not supposed I to know. be. He's trying to flirt with Penny, but Penny's. That's a Penny's just a little bit too small for him to play with, I think. I think so too. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What else can I teach these guys? What else can I teach these guys? Good job. Let's see how many puppies can do it down. I don't think I need them all the way down, but I'm going to try my bestest. Okay. All right. Take some more space over here. That's it. Okay. So, I would like them. Just do a little sticky spot. Like a mini heel. With a little better. We're going to work on puppies not being pushy. Okay. okay. Not a single one of these dogs care if I shove their head away, but I would really like them to, to not do that and to reward to not staying in their zones. Oh, yeah. Let's see. So, Clance is now going to sit down. She is, is up to the left corner.
here. Do they have these on? Sometimes we don't ask for it because some of our dogs have some health conditions that make sitting yes, undesirable. Good job, Nance. And so we work within the yes. boundaries of what each dog is doing. Good job. Do you get it? Do you sit? Yes. Good girl. Good job. So I worked my way up okay. to Gia on the platform. Let's see. So notice I'm fighting less with them on where to be. This is a one heck of a messy video. You know what? I'm going to change this. Okay. Let's see. Can you sit? Oh, that's a nice job. I'm going to change what I'm doing so my training is easier for these guys. I'm going to grab all that. Here are some more treats. I'm going to try to come back and do this again. Can you So let me show you guys what is not going well because over there she's showing you how beautiful her adding duration is. Let me show you how beautiful it is not for me. This is uh, ugly training on my part. It's oh, no. not going well. So my first goal was to get them separated, stationed in their own places. Um, it wasn't going very well. We're going to try again. <coughs> I have slightly different requirements for all three dogs because they're at different stages of learning. So I'm going to try it one more time and see how it goes. Lance is in it down here. Gia's on a platform. I would like Louie to put a foot there and he gets right there. Um, so goal number one is just to keep all
all three in their stations, no matter what they're doing. P, G, So what this tells me is I should probably go back and teach this independently, teach each dog what I want them doing separately from the other one, when it's down. So then I was trying to get Gia to sit, Louie to stay there, Lance to stay in a down. So I thought, no duration on this behavior. What I will tell you is that nobody gets a treat out of position. They have to be in position in order to get treats.
Yeah, I turned the camera just in time for you guys to see them not play. And, uh, and, uh, what, oh, did I see a poop on the floor? Yeah, yeah. sorry. Poop happens. <laughs> My camera is yeah. coming. Yes, it works too because I can get all my. 
<laughs> you, can, you can take one with you, but leave the other two home. Sunny says, but I didn't get anything. Right. Oh, you're so cute. Well, good to sit. Though. Well, good to sit. I like this boy. Very good. You're? How do you do? Thank you so much, Glenn. Ah, oh, my pleasure is always. Appreciate it. I'm sure we'll see you for something. I am sure yeah. you will. We'll be in touch because yeah. the parking is starting to become a problem. And yeah. we're not very successful with the quiet cue. He's he doesn't try really hard. He does not listen. He's yeah. so cute though. When he well, talks, whatever that is mine is something, it? it doesn't matter what you have to do now to just gone. And you see, that's the thing. He does really well in walks, except for if we encounter a person. Then he goes completely nuts. He's like a little goat. He jumps in the air. And he, it doesn't matter what I hold in front of him to get his attention. His brain comes to, it's like class time. He's like, people, new people. Maybe they have treats. Maybe they have new talk. All right, we got to find some yes. Some nice public outings, Home Depot, coffee shop, where you can just learn to chill around people. Yeah. Oh, good idea. Like, so that's what we did with him. Because of the pandemic. Because of the pandemic. That's what we did with him. We went everywhere with him. Yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. I think that, and I really think that's probably the key with him. He just needs to learn how to go sit and be bored. Yeah. Yeah. He just loves And people him. will come and pet him if he's yes. just bored. Yeah, because he actually goes to people. He sees people like a magnet. I know. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> Thank that's you so a good much. thing about him. Appreciate it. Yes. We'll see you guys. You will. Thank we'll you. Bye. Thank you. Enjoy your spring. Sorry, I didn't notice. I, I honestly, I didn't notice there. I was like, I'm sad because Lance is leaving and we don't get to see Lance for a while. Except maybe one on one. Okay, I'm going to turn off Instagram so you guys can pick up your puppies. And we'll see you back for another class in about 20 minutes.